Welcome to our group digital presentation on prerequisites of healthcare professionals. We will focus on the skills and capabilities of a registered nurse, including person-centred care, analysing leadership challenges and examples of innovation in healthcare. quality health care, it is crucial to ensure that a patient is involved in decision making regarding their health. According to Macmillan, centering a patient around their health care has a direct correlation to their quality of care. This can be seen through health care professionals providing patients with the knowledge to make decisions surrounding their health and well-being. Furthermore, this impacts patients' health outcomes as they are able to take the initiative to implement a healthy lifestyle upon discharge. Person-centred care is an important fundamental of nursing that requires a critical way of thinking. This includes all healthcare workers in a multidisciplinary team to ensure development and monitoring the care that the patient needs. This means recognising patients and their condition and considering the individual to be the expert and effectively working alongside the healthcare professional in order to receive the best outcome. Person-centred care is important as it is approaching a person's private lifestyle, circumstances, cultural values and family situations. It is about being compassionate and showing empathy without stigma or judgement towards the person and ensuring you are respectful of the person's point of view. Person-centred care means to engage in a culturally safe and considerate environment by adopting an honest and therapeutic relationship. This can be displayed by making sure the person has complete access to the appropriate health care ensure respectable communication, education and information, make sure the person is comfortable and safe, involving friends and family and encouraging emotional support when needed, and ensuring stability between services by coordinating integrated care. As a group that is made up of a diverse range of individuals who uphold different values, we are able to agree with all the elements that make up person-centred care. That being that all individuals in the healthcare system are treated as equal partners in developing, planning and monitoring care to meet the patient's need. Our group is also aware of the importance of educating, supporting, respecting and including patients in all decisions with regards to their healthcare and ongoing treatments. Person-centred care is to provide a safe and appropriate practice that requires accountability, a respectful and collaborative partnership built on integrity, trust and understanding. Practicing this requires us to develop and acquire many different skills in order for patient-centred care to be effective. Each patient has the right to their own decision and ownership of their own healthcare information while protecting and keeping their own dignity and the rights to empowering their choice. To enable this to occur, nurses must base their healthcare practices around including patients in decisions, engaging their family in ongoing health treatments and always maintaining an open-minded attitude. Additionally, having the skills to adequately implement and achieve a treatment plan with a patient is an essential skill required to achieve person-centred care. When dealing with patients with a terminal illness, it can, be, can become both challenging and emotionally straining for both the healthcare practitioner and the patient. However, according to McCormick and McCain, 2017, incorporating a patient in their care plan both improves the mental well-being of the healthcare practitioner and the patient, whilst research has further proven that care based solely around the patient has proven more effective in the patient's health outcomes. Interpersonal skills are the ability to communicate or interact with people effectively. This is a vital factor in becoming a successful registered nurse as it links with important frameworks and core fundamental values. This is because interpersonal skills lead to effective time management, improvement in patient care and high quality training. Specifically, listening, communication, patience, personal stress management and a sense of humour. Additionally, critical thinking is the intellectual discipline process of actively and skillfully applying or evaluating information gathered from experience, reflection and reasoning. Compassion is displayed by showing sympathy and concern for the suffering of others. Organisational skills include delegation to others, team management, creating and keeping deadlines, goal setting, effectiveness, creative thinking. 
It also it is also important as a registered nurse to be able to detect changes in symptoms, differing stages in health, and keeping calm under pressure and applying ethics. Having leadership in nursing is also, a cru- is also crucial to accuracy of data collection as well as safe professional practice. When conducting nursing practice in the real world, there are many leadership challenges that can jeopardise the delivery of their person-centred care. Different opinions, views and cultures can pose a challenge to the way nurses communicate and interact with patients. This makes it highly important for all nurses to have prerequisite knowledge of cultural safety in order to maintain leadership and respect. To avoid leadership challenges, effective communication is vital to determine and implement who the leader of the situation is, how they discipline this control, the delegation of tasks, equal contribution, time management, and collaborative group work. One of the most important factors during real world practice, especially in high pressure situations, is to establish a common goal and desired outcome. Not having education on how to perform necessary procedures is a major barrier to leadership skills in the workplace. Nurses should be confident in their practice abilities to gain information and diagnose. However, these skills can only occur with the correct prerequisites. A good example of a practice innovation which is designed to support person-centred care is having a growth mindset. A growth mindset allows individuals to understand their abilities and how they can be developed. This is an effective and useful initiative that both student and registered nurses can apply to improve on their communication, organisation and delivery of service to the patient. A nurse that has a growth mindset is more likely to be resilient, open to constructive criticism and have a positive outlook. These attributes are necessary for a nurse to possess who endeavours to deliver person-centred care. Thus, patients who feel more comfortable and inclined to form a relationship with the nurse which is essential for the well-being and good health of the patient. As person-centered care is about providing holistic care that treats the patient rather than solely the illness and disregarding the human side, growth mindset should be an undisclosed prerequisite for all student and registered nurses to ensure that all patients past, present and future are getting the care they deserve and need. Nurses with a growth mindset are great leaders who show their willingness to learn, work and develop leadership skills and characteristics. In summary, person-centred care is a fundamental framework for critical decision making and ensuring optimal patient health care after discharge. It is important to first look at the patient before the disease and engage in a therapeutic relationship in order to gain trust from the patient. To achieve this, patients should be included in healthcare decisions and any future assessment. It is also important for nurses to possess the skills and capabilities necessary to adequately implement and achieve a treatment plan. To demonstrate integrity, trust and understanding are vital characteristics for a healthcare environment. Although leadership challenges are bound to arise, effective communication regarding a common goal is always a desired outcome.